Welcome to Mystery Miners Myths and Legend Edition. I'm your host Theo. Today we are going to be talking about the 12 Olympians. Twelve Olympian gods and goddesses ruled over human affairs and enjoyed parties, fights, and torrid love affairs from their palace on Mount Olympus. Let's get to know them on today's episode. Before we dive into the world of the Twelve Olympians, let's first talk about the brief history of Greek mythology. Greek mythology was more than just bedtime stories. It was a way for ancient Greeks to understand the world around them. They saw the gods and goddesses in natural events like thunderstorms, flowers blooming, and the night sky. Every holiday, month, a celestial body was connected to a deity, linking the Greeks with the divine. The gods and goddesses in Greek mythology were not just characters in stories. They had complex personalities and fascinating tales. These stories went beyond entertainment. They taught morals and explored the concepts of right and wrong. But why is Greek mythology so important? Greek mythology gives us valuable insights into the ideals, religion, and dreams of ancient Greek society. Thanks to the Greek alphabet and the abundance of myths, we now have a deep understanding of Greek civilization compared to other ancient cultures. But Greek mythology isn't just a thing of the past. It still influences our modern world. For example, the mighty god Mars also known as Aries, is honored through the names of both the planet Mars and the month of March. Greek mythology has also given us over 150,000 words still in use today, including terms related to the myths themselves. The world of the 12 Olympian gods and goddesses begins with Zeus. The mighty king of the gods, Zeus is powerful and he controls the sky. But he has a weakness for love affairs, even with his wife, Hera. Poseidon, the god of the seas and earthquakes, protects the oceans and is credited with creating horses. Athena, born from Zeus's forehead, embodies wisdom and warfare. Ares, the god of violent warfare, has a fiery temper and is respected for his battle skills. Apollo is the radiant god of the sun, light, music, and healing. He is a skilled musician and also serves as an oracle at the famous oracle of Delphi, providing predictions and advice. His twin sister Artemis is the goddess of the moon and hunters. She is known for her bow and arrows and protection of young women. Aphrodite is the captivating goddess of love and desire. With numerous affairs, despite being married to Hephaestus, the god of blacksmiths and fire. Lastly, we got Hermes, the mischievous messenger of the gods, who swiftly travels through between realms with his winged sandals and helmet. Known for his cunning tricks, Hermes delights in playing pranks on fellow gods and guiding lost souls to the underworld. Of course, there are many more Greek gods and goddesses up on Mount Olympus. But right now, let's talk about Hades. 
Hades is an important figure in Greek mythology. He is the god of the underworld and enforcing its laws and punishments down there. Despite not being an Olympian god, Hades played a significant role in Greek mythology and held great power in his domain. He is married to Persephone, the goddess of spring, who became the queen of the underworld after being abducted by Hades and marrying him. Their marriage is complex as Persephone spends part of the year with Hades in the underworld and the rest with her mother, Demeter, the goddess of harvest, in the world of the living. The myth of Persephone's abduction and return explains the changing seasons of spring, summer, fall, and winter. The ancient Greeks truly believed in their gods and goddesses and made them a part of their everyday lives. They celebrated festivals, performed rituals, and made sacrifices to honor their gods and goddesses. They even built temples dedicated to them, and some of these temples still exist today. Although Greek mythology is now seen as cautionary tales, there are still some people today who follow the ancient Greek religion, which worships multiple gods and it is called Hellenism. Thank you so much for tuning into Mystery Miner's Myths and Legends. We got more interesting tales lined up for you. Make sure you come back and join us again.